Uh, you mentioned uh, the, this being a transfer destination. Curious to hear your thoughts on, I mean, college football has changed so much, even from the last time you were head coach to now. I mean, it's, it's completely different in a lot of different ways from the NIL to the portal, the combination of the two together, right? The portal times NIL. I don't even know where to start. How has it changed your philosophy from a recruiting standpoint, scholarship allotment, you know, how, how many, how many scholarships you're, you're saving for transfers versus, and then even like staff. I mean, you got you probably have a pro per, um, or a college personnel guy. I mean, we it's did. changed everything, right? Yeah, it, it is. And we were prepared for it. Uh, the portal is nothing new. We, we the, yeah. the portal we had when we were at Texas NIL so, yeah. was, um, about to come online, mm -hmm. if you will. And, and we were prepared for that. But you're right. I mean, the, the combination of the two and guys getting plucked from your roster to go for a yeah. $50,000 NIL deal to some other place because they, they think that's important. You know, it, it has changed. Probably the most that it has changed for me is the fact that you've got to constantly recruit your own roster. Mm. And it's difficult, but it, it, it's the way that business is done. And, you know, I, I got this job in December and could have gone on the road my first week on the job. And I chose to stay here for an entire week to meet with the current players mm -hmm. on our roster and, and recruit them rather than go yeah. on the road and recruit. Crazy. And so, um, you know, we're, we're doing a really good job of, um, you know, I know that there is a collective in place. I know that our guys have tremendous business opportunities mm -hmm. uh, here in Palm Beach County and, and Dade and Broward County, certainly. And we want to provide that to them. But I, I think the biggest thing is, like you said, roster management. Like, mm -hmm. what is my roster going to look like <laughs> three yeah. months from now <laughs> compared yeah. to right now? Mm -hmm. um, and then the willingness and ability to recruit your own roster and make sure that the the good players stay yeah you know it's it's when when you're talking to kids in the portal and high school recruits are they talking and asking about nil as much as the media thinks they are because it, the media makes it seem like everything's all about nil all the time and i'm curious i've asked a few of coaches this and they all pretty much said the same thing is it as prevalent as as everyone thinks it is no yeah um especially at our level. Yeah. I, I think it is a secondary um, question that, mm -hmm. that gets asked by recruits and, and parents and, and family members, but it is certainly not at the forefront of, of what we do mm -hmm. in recruiting. Um, I, I think they're smart in just asking, hey, what are what do the opportunities at a place like FAU, yeah. what do those look like? And we can describe and, and talk to them about that, but I haven't met one yet from transfer or freshman recruit to mm -hmm. where that. Go to manscaped.com and use the code ADAMB for 20% off and free shipping on your next order for Father's Day. I'm even helping you save some money on your Father's Day gift. Manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. Get your dad what he really needs for Father's Day from Manscaped. Is the end all be all. Yeah. I heard you on that, the, uh, the one podcast I, I listened to, you tell a story about Braxton Miller and... Uh, and I was, I've been I've been on this bandwagon for I was a long laughing. time. I, I'd, lo I'd love to hear some like more thoughts on the on nil and maybe like what went wrong, what what can get right about it, how can, how it can get fixed. I don't. Ooh. I know there's a lot of people that are trying to make those decisions, but right. you know, you, you said on what I listened to that you knew nil that something with nil was going to have to come because you know the NCA is selling <laughs> selling jerseys. They're trying to investigate. They're trying to get guys for you know different things like that. Right. Well, I, I think, you know, you're, you're right. I mean, over 10 years ago, I, I got really riled up when I had to deal with an issue with um, Braxton Miller at, at Ohio State, and I, I got uh, pretty defensive of, of him and his ability to earn 
um, off of what he has done individually. And so I, I believe the premise of NIL is been needed for the longest of times. Mm -hmm. And I think that it is something that is very much long overdue uh, for all of our players. Every human, in my opinion, that wa is walking the planet should be able to monetize their name, image, and likeness yeah. uh, if the market says <laughs> that mm -hmm. that is what you deserve. And so I'm glad that we've taken that step. Now, <laughs> uh, we, we've got to find a way to get it out of recruiting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know the NCAA had the best of intentions when they allowed for uh, name, image, and likeness compensation to be provided to our players. But I think as we all know, now it's become uh, with collectives and with contracts and all that is it, it, it has become at certain places a recruiting uh, inducement yep. and we, we've got to find a way I, I don't know the answer to that uh, other than continuing to crack down when when we have evidence of it um, but we, if if we can find a way to get it out of recruiting and get it back into what it was meant for was for the Braxton Millers of the world <laughs> yeah. that some other organization is making money off of his name and yeah. his jersey. There's a return on investment there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he he should be the one. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, reaping the benefits of, of his hard work and and performance. Yeah, but what what we've got to figure out how to get out is, you know, just paying guys to pay guys that haven't earned yeah. you know their market value in name image and likeness yeah it seems like the nil at its core and the portal at its core is great but yeah it's, it's the combination that makes it the issue correct <laughs> right correct 